Hey Tube, it's Phil 20. And today I want to show you these uh, charge controllers and what I think about them. Uh, they're moderate quality. I mean, I wouldn't say they're amazing. They seem to do a decent job. I've tracked the voltage coming in, voltage going out. I've tracked the amps going in, amps coming out. And they seem to function. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're the best at functioning, and they do a job that uh, is superior to PWM controllers. This is, you know, MPPT. I like it. I enjoy it, and I know that I get a lot more power than I had before. Uh, if you can see up here, there's another one right here. Um, I was doing some experiments with it with different things, and. I blew the fuse that was inside of it. Uh, I took it apart and I soldered a wire directly between the fuses, which now, since I've done that, I have to put a fuse in between here. That's a 30 amp fuse because that was what was inside of there before. And this is on the 10 amp MPPT charge controller. So the 10 amps carry a 30 amp fuses. I haven't took this one apart, so I don't know what it is, but this is a 20 amp. Uh, it, you know, I'm glad to see it does it, uh, you know. And then, the, this is a new one that I bought, and I'll tell you what I've noticed with this one before. I noticed that it uh, quit charging when there was voltage coming in at one point in time. So, what I've done is I've turned the power off to the solar panels. Uh, I've got a disconnect outside that allows me to shut it off. And I turned it off, and I turned it back on, and it started working again. So, I mean... I wouldn't say these are the best quality, I wouldn't say they're the worst, but I can tell you that they do a good job when they're working. So daily I come out and I go here and I take a look at my voltage and my amps. Now what I like about this charge controller is that it shows you the voltage and the amps going to the battery. This one also shows you the voltage and the amps going to the battery. And that's what I like about these. I can uh, calculate how much power that I'm receiving indefinitely. Um, so I'm happy with that. In the future, uh, if I was going to get another charge controller for 24 volt, I'd probably go with something different to be honest with you. I want to get something a little bit more higher quality. I don't want something uh, that's going to break down when I put a lot of amps through it. I want it to do its job and do its job for a long time. And also, I put all my solar panels in parallel to this. Uh, because I know that uh, that you lose heat when uh, you uh, transform electricity from a higher voltage to a lower voltage. So you're taking, you know, 20 volts, putting it in here, and then it pr turns it down. Now I could set it up in uh, series outside, and then it'll uh, take it from 40 volts down to 12 volts which is uh, going to release more heat. This thing already releases a bunch of heat. This thing stays at 80 degrees, and in here, it's 60 degrees all the time. You can see this is a 60 degree marker, and that's why I've been working on the uh, solar heater. Uh, it's still gloomy. There's no sunlight, and it, it's not going to run until there's sunlight on that solar heater, so we're going to have to deal with that later. It's no big deal. But, uh, you know, when it does run, that'd be great. But this right here is, uh, you know, the heart of the system. If you can't charge your system, you don't have a system. So I, I really like this one. Um, I, I think it does a good job. And this one, I don't like it so much because I did notice that uh, the uh, it wasn't charging one day. So I turned it off, turned it back on, and uh, it just started working. And I was happy to see that. So, you know, I left it there. I didn't. Uh, switch it out for this one. Uh, this one's not hooked up to nothing. I probably won't hook nothing up to it um, ever. Uh, I doubt that I'll ever see solar panels to use it with. It's possible that uh, I could use the other one for uh, my panels that I currently got now and turn it into 24 volts. I might, I might use it for that one uh, because it should be able to handle it if uh, I run it in series if I was to do that. That way I'd do a 24 volt system and then I get a little bit extra 
power, 200 more watts on that uh, battery bank. And then I would just uh, run the uh, Harbor Freight panels off of this uh, battery bank because that uh, water pump's a 12 volt water pump and I don't think it's easy to find a 24 volt water pump. Now I don't have to buy a water pump right now if I just use a 12 volt. So as long as that uh, works out because once I get that other system installed I'll take all this stuff and it'll everything in my house that's 110 volts going to run off of uh, solar power. And then um, if I got it, lots of extra power left over, I might consider trying the dryer with a, a long, long extension cord or something. And then if that works out well, then that'd be great. But this is just a quick video uh, about my charge controllers. They're inexpensive. Uh, this one's like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, this one was like 115, I think. You can get these at Amazon. They do a decent job. They tend to not function all the time. So I noticed when I had this, uh, you know, I turned power off and turned it back on, it started working just fine. And because I seen this one was charging, this one wasn't charging, I was like, well, that's a problem. So if you ever get one of these, I really think it's a good idea to get this because it showed that it was charging, but it wasn't charging. It was there was no power going through. So if you do get one of these, you need to. Uh, have a way to uh, turn it off and turn it back on easily. And that way you can reset it because if you don't reset it, it's going to be a problem. This is Phil Twin with Guns, Games, and Racing, and you have a great day.